and welcome to the Azam Sharp channel. I'm your host Mohammad Azam and in this screencast I'm going to show you how you can browse through different scenes and also transitions. Now in all the previous tutorials, which is all previous seven of them, we were working on a one particular scene. Unfortunately if you're making a game most likely it will have multiple scenes. One scene can be for your menu screen which is like play contact us, high scores, kind of like that. Your second screen can be your level selection screen, like medium or, you know, in kind of like easy, medium, hard, kind of like those things. And then final screen or the third screen can be your game screen. You can even add more screens like game over screen, displaying the high score. So these are all scenes that you are adding. In this uh, video, I'm going to show you how you can add two scenes and of course if you know how to add and transition between two scenes you can add an unlimited number of scenes. If I run this application right now you will see oops, that it has an error. <laughs> Let's remove that. So if, you, if I run this application right now you can see it has a kind of like a menu screen play and how to play. If I click on any of them it doesn't really do anything okay but we have uh, we have the methods over here. Let me go over here. So play game method is actually fired whenever you click a menu item and how to play is fired whenever you click the how to menu label. Okay. Before I do that I will add a game scene. Just add a new item. It will be Objective C class. Instead, uh, okay. Instead of the default and as object, it will inherit from the CC layer. Go ahead and name it game layer. Okay, and let's go ahead and put it over here. We will expose one of the methods will be which is the required method for the game layer is a scene. Okay, and also go ahead and import the Cocos 2D Edge Cocos 2D header file let's build this application seems to be okay what I'm going to do now is go ahead and copy a few lines like these ones and I'm going to go ahead and put it over here and pretty much delete all the code Here we go. So this is the init method, okay? But we still have to implement the scene method. Here we go. So that's our scene method. And then we can start with the implementation of CC scene. Uh, this will be scene class, CC scene node, uh, node, okay? And then we can create a layer. Now this will be a game layer. Just going to call it layer equal to uh, game game layer node, and then simply add scene add child, and then add the layer to the uh, to the scene and return the scene itself. Let's build this. Everything is okay. Now if you run this, your game layer will not really display anything because you know, you're know you not really doing anything in the init function. So let's go ahead and display something so that we are sure that we are in the game layer itself. I'm just going to print a label, but in your actual game, it will be the game running in this particular layer, in this particular scene. Okay, so I'm just going to say game scene, font size, is uh, let's say marker felt and let's say 30. Um, we can position it and on the center of the screen I'm just going to say 320 and then uh, 480 and then self add child just add the label okay so our game scene is complete now the only thing that is left to do is to transition from this from the uh, the menu screen which is hello world layer to the game scene okay so let's go ahead and first add 
our game layer so that it will have an idea that what we are talking about and now we'll come down to the play game method now the play game method will of course uh, go to the game layer scene which we just developed cc director share director and there is a method called replace scene and it's pretty easy as you can see replace scene simply takes a cc scene and we can simply provide the game layer scene there we go now run the application and now when you click on the play button it immediately goes to the game scene as you can see all right but you can see that the transition was pretty instant and it, it didn't really had any effects or anything and kind of looked lame so let's go ahead and add some sort of a transition that when you are going from one scene to another so let's say jump zoom and then we are going to say okay it's going to take one second to complete the transition uh, transition and you are, we are going to go to the game scene so now when I click on the play button you can see it kind of like jumps out okay did some sort of animation and you can of course choose from different animations there are a bunch of animations page turn this is one of the most uh, frequently used animations if you are reading a book in iPad and iPhone you can see the page turn animation and then the scene which is the game scene is then loaded it's pretty simple as you can see right and now since you know how to do this for a one item like changing scene from one scene to another you can also you know do this for any number of scenes I hope you like this uh, video and thank you very much.